Now the second study is a really great one for uh, the study of the length of the bow and making sure that you can really use the entire bow uh, effectively and be able to articulate at the frog and to articulate at the tip. So the left hand is not very difficult with this one. What gets tricky with this uh, particular etude is just making sure you can get good sound all the way at the tip, making sure you can really place that bow. Uh, with for every single note. The other thing that can make this very, very challenging is the uh, timing of it and making sure that you don't rush. There's a lot of space in between each note with the way that it's notated. And our tendency as humans is to try to fill that with something and we tend to get faster. So if you do not have a metronome to use with this, which I highly recommend, you can actually just take a look at a clock. I can see one here in my studio uh, because this is marked at quarter equals 60 and that is exactly one second. So I can look at my clock I see the click, there it is, there it is, there it is. And then you can kind of fill, you can subdivide in your head. So I, myself, I like to just bring it down to the 16th note level. So you can think one E and a two E and a three E and a, or you can use a word like enchilada, enchilada, and that can help to fill it in. Perhaps even doing it out loud uh, to maintain a good time all the way through. Enchilada, 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 enchilada.